What's up, you guys? Kim Mike 84 here again. I'm doing an update on my rig. Um, I just got my motherboard. I got the Republic of Gamers Cross Air 4 Formula motherboard, EM3 Plus. And it's right here. Um, it's a little bit big box. You can tell it's right here. This is the best board I've ever owned in my life. Uh, probably going to be for a while. I'm going to keep this. Uh, you can tell that this is designed for gaming. Uh, this could do, uh, supposedly say you could do four way crossfire if you get those uh, small profile cards. But I'm doing only two. Maybe if I got the time or uh, money, I'll do three way uh, XFX. Uh, HD Radeon 5830s. Um, but I'm just gonna do just two. Um, so this is my big upgrade on it right now. I'm gonna take it apart right now. I'm gonna show you a little bit about it. It's kind of hard to unbox it, but uh, here's the back of it right here. You could handle, any, you could throw the, any type of board at this, any chip you want, anything you want. And this has a, a USB 3.0. Um, what's cool about it? So I'm good for a while. It's about less, less than a year old uh, board. Um, I heard you can overclock it 2200 megahertz on the DDR3 RAM. Um, it's going to be nice. But don't really need that. Just looking for something. Uh, right now I have a Patriot uh, a Selector 5 uh, Viper 2. Um, 1333 DDR3 is four, 4 gigs too dim, 240 MB. Um, it's been plenty enough. So let's, uh, let's open it up. So how hard is the to do this? Cause it's pretty hard. People said that a hard time taking it out, but uh, here's the board. My theme it's all black and red and and uh, white. Should match it out, um, match it out, excuse me. Here, so you have a uh, four, two point one. I like these clips because I had a, a Boss Star uh, eight ninety um, chip and they had these plastic clips right here. They broke off. I like that. I like this because um, I like this. You got the them slots. See here in the bottom right here? These don't clip. It's one side only. Right here. And you have a AM3 plus excuse me, AM3 socket. You got the north bridge crossing to the south bridge. You have a 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight SATAs. Um, this uh, take a uh, raid mode zero one, uh, zero, one, five, and ten. So actually one plus zero. That's what it says. You have your buttons here. Turn overclock. All right, just, I'm gonna just do the BIOS. Um, I don't know what else to say, man. But uh, I want to show you to the look at the back of it right here. You have a uh, one, 10, one, 100, 1000 uh, uh, SATA, I'll say the Ethernet, excuse me. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight USB headers. You have two, and you have a uh, copper, uh, looks like a gold plated uh, sound eight channel. And this is RGB uh, four o'clock, uh, something to do with the. Uh, the Seuss, and you have a a uh, CMOS uh, restart, uh, it's a clear CMOS button right here. And a P uh, PS2 keyboard. 
we have the what's a reset bottles right here too. But anyway, um, I want to show you a bit of actual stuff coming with the very thin. This is adapted to overclock it through a uh, USB right here through your phone. You have a crossfire link, long one, so three to the side of the board. Also some zip ties. This is what I like about uh, Asus. Uh, you got these little adapters to tell you where they at to plug them instead of reading through the manual. I have a I have a P uh, uh, 67 um, i3 uh, Core has these in my. Uh, my board has that too. I have a shield plate and it has copper plate in the back. So it's already been cut for you. It's pretty good put in there. And look at that. It's nice uh, color finish. It says here uh, Republic of Gamers. Uh, it's pretty nice. You say that you say this is for gamers. And you have uh, uh, two, two point, um, USB 2.0s and a SATA. Adapter um, bracket, so you put in the front or the back, doesn't matter. You have um, six altogether um, uh, SATA 6. Uh, this is 6 gig transfer speed. You have uh, three and three. You have two uh, straights. You have two uh, 90 degrees. You can tell right here. And, uh, two are uh, color coded and two are just non. And, uh, you have the I don't know what the hell you got the manual disc uh, your uh, your disc uh, for your drivers and you have a little sticker in here gamer public you got the sticker telling you where to put out your, your uh, SSDs. And it comes with those two. It's pretty, pretty nice. It's a huge sticker. It says uh, Republic of Gamers. Pretty nice about uh, there. So that's about it in the boxing of it. Um, sorry about taking too long, but I don't care. This is the best board I've ever had. And I'm going to be putting in a Phenom 2965 uh, quad core 3.3 uh, gig. I'm going to install it right now. So you guys, hope you guys can get it for here again. Uh, pretty much uh, this part two of the video. Uh, Pretty much, I wanted uh, to show a little bit more about the Republic of Gamers ASUS Crosshair 4 formula. Uh, it's pretty pretty stable board. You can overclock it. You could do quite a bit of stuff with it too. There's a lot of features. A lot of um, if I do get the the six core uh, Phenom 2, maybe later on. This is already. Uh, able to do it that's why I bought the board um, I wasn't keep the Biostar A90 but uh, it died on me or um, it crashed on me when I was playing Grand Theft Auto um, when I was trying to loot, um, boot it up and everything um, I noticed that uh, it took back the, the computer with the operating system I had before so I don't have to worry about putting another operating system it's a pain in the butt to do it um, but here pretty much is a uh, my rig, I'll show you a little bit. Here it is. Playing here at Grand Theft Auto 4 uh, uh, excuse me. Gay Tony episode. It's pretty, uh, pretty, uh, pretty aggressive. I get about 50, about 54 frames a second. Guys, and uh, here is the rig. My uh, 
5830 uh, graphic card by Radeon SFX uh, layout I'm going to do uh, maybe do three but uh, I'm probably just going to do two just keep that going better um, at the feature select uh, selector 5 uh, Viper 2 1333 4 gigs of DIMM and, um, and here it is exactly I like the theme of look I did. I had the uh, opaque acrylic uh, PC uh, Domo. My old PC, uh, pretty much uh, have the H50 pump with a custom uh, 120 fan. It's red. Um, I just had to hang up like that. Um, may have drew, uh, drawn some, some holes to do uh, to make against it. Maybe. <coughs> I'm getting a phone call. You hear some gameplay right now. <laughs> but anyway, um, I'm gonna max up the RAM below the 5830, and uh, I think I'm shooting down for a while. I'm gonna do some, uh, so some benchmarks, advantage, and uh, advantage, uh, benchmark, and uh, I'm gonna do a uh, 3D mark uh, 11 new one. I'm gonna do my crossfires, and uh, but anyway. <coughs> Pause this game real quick. But anyway, uh, it was pretty fun doing this. Um, doing this rig, uh, pretty pretty different for me. And I want to thank you for uh, two uh, two people in my uh, my uh, group of uh, I like to learn a little bit from unboxings. Uh, actually, both of them I'm like uh, I don't know, I can't really pick either. Um, NCIX uh, Linus, thank you for uh, telling me to help me out a little bit here and there when you have extra time. Seems like you're busy, very busy. And um, and Mother uh, Borg dot org. Um, um, Eric, uh, thank you a lot for uh, telling me a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna do the the 5830s. Just get my taxes and get a couple more forms. I'll be soon. Maybe I'll push it to the the three way crossfire X. I'll be doing it soon. But uh, anyway, <clears throat> it, I'll do some more benchmarks on it. Right now is that it's I have a Phenom two nine six five overclocked at four point oh gigahertz. I got the V core at one point six five. If uh, if you want to see that, actually, in the game real quick. Show you real quick. I have a 1.6 right now. I'm trying to overclock a little bit more, but that's my goal. So I have 4.0 stable. That's the highest I could do with the water block. I could do more, but I don't know if it could be stable or not. We'll find out. All right, guys. This is uh, Kill Mike 84. I'll see you guys later.